Okay, as a change of pace, we're going to look at an optimization problem where, which isn't business oriented and where you have to define your own variables. So in this problem, we're looking at a parabola, y equals 4 minus x squared, and we want to find a rectangle in there. Fit a rectangle with one vertex at the origin, one on the x-axis, one on the y-axis, and one on the parabola. And we want to get the area to be as big as possible. So we want the area to be big. Now, it's pretty clear that you don't want to use a point like that because then your rectangle is going to be really short. And that's not going to get you much area. And you don't want it to be as tall as possible because then it's going to be very narrow. And that's not going to get you much area. So the sweet spot is somewhere in the middle. and We have to figure out where it is. So the trick is we need to define some variables. And the first variable we're going to find is the width of our rectangle. And then we're also going to define the height of our rectangle. And then we need to know what the area is. And the area, of course, is the width times the height. So those are our three variables, x, y, and a. And x is what we're going to control. And a is what we're trying to maximize. OK. so. X is our width, positive. Y is our height. A is our area. A is XY. And Y is 4 minus X squared, because we're on the parabola. Well, that means that our area is X times 4 minus X squared. So it's 4X minus X cubed. And we want to know, where is that maximized? Well, at the maximum, the derivative is 0. As long as the derivative is positive, we can make it bigger by increasing x. If the derivative is negative, we can make it bigger, bigger by decreasing x. At the maximum, the derivative is 0. What goes up has to stop before it comes down. So we said 0 equals 4 minus 3x squared. 3x squared is 4. x squared is 4 thirds, which means that x is either 2 over root 3 or minus 2 over root 3. But this doesn't count. We wanted x positive. We, negative 2 over root 3 doesn't fit the parameters of the problem. So we're left with x is 2 over root 3. OK. Now we're almost, almost done. So if x is 2 over root 3, then y is 4 minus x squared, which is 4 over 4 thirds, which is 8 thirds. And our area is x times y, so that's 8 thirds times 2 over root 3. So that's 16 over 3 root 3, or if you prefer, you can write that as 16 root 3 over 9. Now, is that reasonable? Well, if we took x equals 0, we would have no area, because that would be no, 0 width. If we took x equals 2, we'd have no area, because that would be 0 height. The maximum is somewhere in the middle, and at the maximum, the derivative has to be 0. So is the number we got between 0 and, and 2? Yep. Is the derivative 0? Yep. Are there any other points? No. So this is the only possible candidate for our maximum. And so this is, in fact, our solution.